Aadhaar Authority uh, has told the Supreme Court that it's virtually impossible to track citizens based on Aadhaar and that even if the court permits, the government can't use Aadhaar for surveillance. A nine-judge constitution bench is examining whether privacy is a fundamental right. Well, let's now go across to Vedanathan, who's joining us for more on this. Well, this is, of course, significant because this has been the concern, really, about all those uh, you know, security issues around Aadhaar and what details can be out there, what can the government use or anyone else who perhaps has access to this data. But now uh, the Aadhaar Authority making it clear that it's impossible, they're saying, to track citizens based on this. Exactly, Natasha. In fact, all the petitioners concerned, you rightly put it out, they've been arguing, saying that wherever a person goes, his other, based on other details, he, he can be tracked, whether he goes to some, somewhere shopping or he goes to cinema. So government will keep a complete track on him. So that's why today Tushar Mehta, the additional solicitor general, appearing with the other authority, categorically told the nine judge bench, saying that it's virtually impossible. And even if the court says so, then government can't track it. At the same time, he said... Uh, Privacy is, of course, a constitutional right, but it's not a fundamental right, and court should not elevate to a fundamental right. Besides, Maharashtra and Gujarat also supported the center, saying that the duty of the court is to interpret law and the duty of the parliament to enact law, and Supreme Court should not cross this border and enact a law. Of course, the arguments will resume tomorrow. Well, thanks very much for those details there.